researching beer at college. Well, Sounds like something you could probably do at a campus bar, right? But as you will soon see in tonight's Northwest Grown, Oregon State University has a brewery that's raising a glass to discovering innovations in the beer world. So yeah, a lot of what we do is making the same IPA over and over again, only changing out the hop. It's like making small adjustments to a recipe. At the Oregon State University Brewery, Jeff Clausen is part of a team that finds the fun in the science behind beer making. So a lot of the work that we do revolves around hops and barley. Um, you know, Oregon grows a big chunk of the world's hop crop, and so we do a lot of work. We have two hop breeders on campus. He tells me they focus on hops, whether it's been treated in a kiln, dried, or from a different variety. They compare little nuances in their work. Also, developing different breeds of barley is a hot topic. Also working on some huskless varieties. Jeff says they also call them naked barleys. Most recently, they've been working on organic naked barleys, looking at how they run through their brewing system and observing how they taste. So the idea is if you have a huskless barley, you could potentially get more extract. So you could use less to make the same amount of beer. In other words, more efficient. Yeah, and potentially you make a different beer without the husk in there. Because the husk does um, provide some flavors and some aromas in the finished beer. So we're currently looking at that. Really interesting research they do there at OSU. The Cascade Hops, by the way, came out of the breeding program there at OSU, if you know something about beer. He tells me that actually set the stage for a lot of craft brewers. It does have a strong citrusy note that brings orange, grapefruit aromas and flavors. One beer that uses it is Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. So if you drink that, now you know there's this connection to OSU. Science behind the suds. <laughs>